got really quick and fast interested. It felt like uh, a challenge that I needed. Uh, Muda, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. So we shouldn't like each other, but we do. <laughs> <laughs> Aber wir sind wirklich auch minutiös daher gegangen und die Trainer aufgegangen. Und, und ich muss so sagen, auch heute wieder und, und auch gestern Abend, es, es zählt uns einfach ab, dass, dass, dass wir den Frederik einen Mann gefunden haben, der wirklich zu uns passt. And it started with a good meeting in Oslo a few weeks ago and I'm excited about the fact that it's a hockey town. Um, I've been curious about Swiss hockey for, for a long time and it feels like uh, it's, a, it's a good challenge and a great adventure for me. My ambition is also to, to get to know everyone before we start up because for me in my leadership and my philosophy it's important that you you handle every player in their best way. The modern hockey is putting pressure, uh, trying to control the game, and that's something that I want to do. But I also need to know the players and learn our players, what's their qualities, what can we find out of this. That's the exciting part of me, of, of my job as a coach. I'm trying to be a, a strong leader, uh, but I do believe that strong leaders doesn't have to act like an asshole, to be very frank. And the only way for us to become successful is to, to make everyone better, to develop the group. And, and that's a huge part of my job together with my colleague, to make everyone better. So but I also have to respect the Swiss hockey and the culture in this club. I'm new here, I can't come here and change the whole world. Uh, but, but I hope I can bring some new things into it. And together with Mark, we put together the team. Uh, we have to find out the best way of winning as much as possible. I quit when I was 20 years old, and not because of a tough injury or a bad coach. I quit because I wasn't good enough to become a really successful player. I was a little bit lazy. I found out that it's better to tell other people what to do than try to do it myself. And the good thing with starting early is that you get some experience. I don't have to convince myself every day of what I have to do. I, I trust myself. Um, I, I, I'm pretty cool in my leadership. Of course, hockey change. So I had to change my way of, of look at hockey too. It's a huge challenge. I know the pressure. It's a hockey town. People are, they expect us to win games. But my job is also to be an ambassador for the club, for the team. Try to explain for people why we win, why we lose. This might take some time to, because there's a lot of new things, new coaches, a lot of new players. It's a new start, a new page. We'll see what happens and I will try to be as available as possible to explain my thoughts and my plans and the way we want to play. The more people know, the better it is.